what's up y'all welcome to my channel thank you for tuning back into my channel and i'm finally back with another video i apologize for being away for what two weeks now it wasn't intentional but i just had some stuff i needed to handle and i also apologize if you hear any thunder in the background because it is currently raining yeah but today i am here with some exciting news if you didn't know already i'm late on this i meant to have a video up on this when it came out but again i was gone for two weeks we finally have bunk beds in the sims 4 can y'all believe that no it's not from ea themselves there is a mod creator and a cc creator by the name of panda sama sims but i'll have all their information down in the description box below and this is their twitter here right now and they put out a tweet on August 15th saying that the taller bunk bed can now be downloaded for free on my Patreon. So here's the link to download it and here's the link for the release notes. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this video. y'all see how amazing that looks like i just don't get it ea i don't get it but just look at the comment that's directly under this i really wish ea worked with these amazing cc creators and compensated them accordingly to get things like these in the base game this is embarrassing if someone with not even half of the resources they have can do all of this there is no excuse and i completely 100 percent agree there's no excuse but anyway let's get in the game and test this out okay so i have my i have one of my game files loaded up i haven't played with this family since december of last year i have two toddlers right here and i had to age them up because they were babies it's not like none of that information mattered but i just felt like y'all should know but i'm gonna go into build mode and i'm gonna get this bunk bed set up objects by room Let's go to kids and see if it's under the kids stuff. Here's one of the mattresses for it. But I want the actual bed frame. Yeah, so I have to go to the regular beds. And here's the bottom part. Toddler bottom bunk. $100 and it has three, six, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 different swatches. So. I'm just gonna get it in here and I'll worry about the swatches later. I'm gonna place that there. And then here's the mattress for the bottom one. Again, I'll change the colors here in a second. But how many options do you get with this? Two, four, six, seven. I'll hear that thunder. I don't know if the mic picked that up, but yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the stairs on the okay oh my goodness okay and this is the mattress for the top bunk <gasps> look at how this looks let me zoom in why are the lights not on okay so this is a girl's bedroom so i'm just gonna choose this one right here let's see Oh, the colors of the stairs do change with some of them okay oh you can change this too that's wow okay i've got to see this in action because i just i just have to so where are my two babies at here they are here's Alyssa. Alyssa, i want you to come over here and go to sleep and then Zoe, I want you to, I haven't had a chance to change their outfits or anything because you know EA just gives them random outfits and they always look a mess. But I noticed for the top bunk, you only get the option to sleep, like you can't just nap or sit. Like everything else is here. But 
I'm not complaining. The fact that I'm telling you, if this toddler gets up here by themselves and goes to sleep, I think I'm gonna lose it. Where are they? Okay, here they are. Okay, I don't care. Okay. She's in bed. She changed into. <gasps> my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh ea what is the issue what's the issue like come on i'm gonna mute this because they're having a fit but did you see how this child just climbed up here you can put things up here on this this is like a little shelf right here so you can just decorate it how cool is this and they'll keep sleeping there but you can literally just sit stuff up here for decoration like how cute is this that's really dope that's really dope that's amazing and the last thing that i wanted to kind of mention is i'm gonna go into this file and i'm gonna open this up when you download the file if you're having trouble and one of your toddlers is not able to get into the bunk bed specifically like the well either the top or the bottom bunk check this out in your file it's titled in case of root fail be a picture and it'll show you and it explains placing objects directly directly next to the stairs will create a root fail or route people say it different at least half of the red colored area which is this right here has to be unoccupied for the top bunk to functionally or to function properly. Moving the object away in any direction should fix the problem. In order for, I guess this is just for the top bunk, but in order for your toddlers to be able to get to the top bunk, you can't place items super close to the stairway. I don't understand EA's logic. I really don't like, and it's frustrating because someone who is like a fan of EA and of the sims franchise like i've been playing the sims before the sims 4 i've played other sims games and i know what they're capable of and just to not have something like bunk beds in the game is so frustrating like yes i try to be understanding of the fact that the coding and stuff is not easy trust me but at a certain point like the person that tweeted earlier said if you can't figure it out and you have mod creators and content creators or custom content creators that know how to do this and can figure it out, why not contact them? That way you can get it in the game, compensate them, and give them credit. I don't see what's so hard about that. Look at this. We actually have bunk beds in the game. It's not in base game, but a mod creator created it. This is why I have to play my game with mods, with CC because it just brings aspects of the game that should be in here already. This is amazing, I really like it. The animation for me was pretty smooth. Her clothes are kind of sticking out, but it is what it is, I don't mind that. That doesn't bother me too much. But the animation of getting up here and then crawling into the bed was smooth. Both of them are in there and that's all I wanted. Like, what was her name, Panda Sama Sims? Thank you so much. Like really, genuinely, thank you because this is amazing. Like I said, I feel like this is something that should have been in the game, in the base game. Just for you to work hard on this and give this to us for free, thank you so much because I could only imagine how long it could have taken and just trying to figure it out. So thank you so much. Like this is really amazing and I'm about to have bunk beds in all my houses for all my kids. Oh my gosh, EA. I'm a mix of emotions. Like I'm frustrated because I'm frustrated with EA, but I low key want to shed a tear because this is so beautiful and I never thought that I would see this in the Sims 4 game. Let me know what you guys think about this mod. Like, let me know in the comments down below. If you're interested in reading more about this mod or you want to download it yourself, I will have all the links down in the description box below and make sure that you give panda salmon sims a follow on twitter to keep up with her and her upcoming projects and tell her that i sent you but 
yeah this is it for this video i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i will see y'all in my next video bye y'all